Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to build a window blur. We're going to build a window which is going to act as a blur to any other native OS windows. Uh, window blur is our package. We will need to use Java 11 and higher uh, because we need JavaFX 11 or higher uh, where robot uh, class was introduced. Window blur app extends application stage so it's the typical um, weather plate that I'm building to show the stage we need to set the scene uh, create content now we also need to pass in null which basically means do not fill the scene with any color <coughs> Nope, I want it plain. Root set preferred size. Let's go with 800, 600. Return root. And we need a robot object. Now, this thing is actually pretty powerful. You can, like, you can get various interesting things. You can even make the cursor move, apparently, and create mouse quick events. But what we want is screen capture. So we're going to capture the screen of um, our IntelliJ ID here, and then we're going to blur it. Uh, we don't need an initial image to so just draw the entire thing into this thing. I'm going to hard code 19, 20, 10, 80, because that's the resolution that I've got. Uh, but you may want to play around with these values or even get the screen information directly and go from there image we want an image view from there <coughs> root the children uh, we're going to add the view and we're also going to add a button so we can close the application because the application is going to be transparent so it's not going to have any decorations around it um, let's call it close set on action we are going to shut down the platform. I mean, you could do it that way, or you can get a reference to stage and then close it from here. Uh, up to you. Button. Right. So we need to initialize the stage with a specific style, like transparent. And let's try this. Okay, not too bad. So we have a window in which we're drawing what we are getting from the window underneath. So we're doing a screen capture and then putting an image in here, which actually uh, creates an idea for another um, application that you might do. Screen capturing software, why not? Right, now we need to be able to move this thing. Uh, offset X, offset Y. We're going to keep track of these values so that we can change them later on. What is it that we're actually showing? So it's this view, right? So it's on so the mouse um, clicked, dragged, pressed, I think is what I want. So when it's pressed, then we're going to capture these values. Get um, screen X. minus I do need stage over here because we need to get stage X in order to do um, its movement which is fine just pass it here in which case there's no need to platform exit just close the stage and do the same for um, Y Screen Y, stage Y, in which case we're able to then set the stages X and Y correctly based on these values, right? Set on mouse uh, dragged, on mouse dragged. And we just do the reverse. Um, set X is get screen X minus the offset, which will allow us to drag um, 
our window around. It won't help with the rendering, but we can now um, drag our window by dragging the image. Yeah, nice. What I want to do now is to track the coordinates where I'm dragging this thing, use the information to then figure out which subset or a sub rectangle um, to draw and then blur it. Well, actually the blur is the easiest part. Just add set effect box blur. That's it, done. As for updating the screen, or updating the view rather, we need an animation timer, I think. Start the timer and then do something on update. Well, actually, no, we won't going to do. Uh, we won't do much, right? Because it's just view set set viewport. And the viewport is going to track stages X, stages Y, and then width and height are your application width and height. So it's 800 by 600. Nice. It's pretty good. It creates this nice, like almost glass effect. I know it's been done before, but I'm not sure um, where this code is actually. Because I know on Twitter I've, I've seen examples of screen effects. So there you go. And as you can see, it doesn't update the screen with, it's still tracking the old screenshot. Which means at some point uh, when you click off your application, you want to uh, recapture the screen. So let's add a different blur, something like that. That's a stronger blur, I think. And obviously there are various um, settings you can apply to this thing, various settings that you can um, apply to change the quality of blur. Right, so how about we do something with uh, updating screen when not focused. Focus property, add listener. Is focused. If not is focused, then we would like to do this thing again. Or is it the other way around? And just do another image. Recapture the screen. Make this final so it's accessible. View set image. Image too. Now here's the problem because this is going to go when not focused or when focused. There is no way to track just before focused kind of thing. So do that get rid of this thing, come back, it's still there, so it doesn't work. Fine. Uh, animation, if stage is focused not, keep doing that. It's kind of it's going to waste your CPU cycles. But is it going to work though? So it does this. I close this thing. Does it update? Not bad. Yeah. <coughs> there might be a, a more efficient way of doing this. And if you also want to update 
it um, all the time. For example, if I scroll around while the window is still focused, it's not capturing it. Which means you may want to do this every frame. Anyway, up to you. I've, I've given you some options here and you can play around with them. But this doesn't look too bad, right? Right, so in this video, we've looked at the robot, which is the most prominent API that we've used in this video. The rest is kind of um, more or less straightforward. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.